Hey girl, hey, and welcome to what's in my kids Easter basket today I'm gonna to be jumping into all the things I got for my kids Easter basket and we're doing it practical style You guys now we're not talking a bunch of chintzy junk from the Dollar Tree and from the dollar spot And there's no shame in doing that But let's be honest our kids get so much of that stuff from either school or grandparents or other family members And you're just gonna be picking it up and putting it in a trash bag in a few days Maybe a few weeks if you're lucky so let's dive into some things that can can actually be functional things throughout the rest of the year that your kids are gonna love. It's gonna give you some activities to keep them occupied so you can actually maybe throw dinner together one day and it not be crazy around the house. Maybe, I don't know, just some ideas, but let's jump in to what's in the baskets. We're gonna get started though with the baskets and assembling them. So I have these that I picked up from Amazon and they came in a two pack of these baskets so I can use these for organizing a lot of different things. I'm also using them for travel. So these are perfect and I'm just gonna throw some little grass from the dollar spot in there. There we go, just to kind of fluff that out a little bit, that's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm gonna start out with this. And you're probably like, what in the world is this? This is a paint mat. And so I can lay this down on my counter and be able to put paint in the little train cars because it does look like a little train, which is pretty cute. It's got a spot over here for them to lay their brushes in it. And then it also has this little cup for you to be able to put water in it and utilize that for them to clean their brushes. And it just, again, collapses down so we can make a little art box and be able to keep these in it. And I'm so excited because this is actually an activity. We can take this outside and paint outside. We can paint inside. We can use this for a lot of different things and it also is something we can use to keep the surface clean We can use this with play-doh like seriously This is going to be an amazing thing to be able to use throughout the year So I'm just gonna pop that in the basket right here because I'm not a complete Scrooge, I grabbed these fun little sticker sheets. These we can toss, it come with a bunch of them. So I can toss them in my diaper bag, going to visit family, going out to eat, whatever. But these are great, so I'm gonna just poke a couple of these in here. So there's something instant that they can kind of play with and use. So we've got a chick and a bunny going in here. Next up, I have a little box of brushes. I have one for each of them. So we're gonna go ahead, pop this in here. And then this is a practical gift. They needed a new toothbrush, so I'm just tossing it in their Easter basket. You know, sometimes you have to go with the practical direction too, so they needed one, and I love that this one has a two minute timer, so it helps us know how long to brush their teeth without actually pulling out a phone or an actual timer, so we can use that, and it, you can do the refillable heads, whatever. So I'm very excited about that. Got it in her favorite color, so she gets a new toothbrush from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> And then I have this box of paint that I'm gonna be splitting between the girls. I didn't wanna get two boxes of paint because I can just pour out of this into the little pods there on the mat. But I'm gonna put a couple of her favorite colors in the box here. And that's gonna do it for her Easter basket. Like I know this seems probably a little simple. And you're like, where's the candy? What are we doing? Why are we not doing candy? I know that family will get them candy, grandparents will get them candy, and then for us personally, we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt here at the house. And we may go do an Easter egg hunt or something else, but for our family and how our kids are gonna get candy from us, their parents, is going to be in their Easter eggs. So we can put a little Reese's or some M&Ms or little treats and candy that they like into the Easter eggs. And then as they find the eggs, then they get their candy. And so that's why I'm not putting it in the basket. I'm not just overloading them with a bunch of sweets. They are only two and a half and four and a half and I just really don't want a lot of sugar hyping them up. And I also know they are going to be very blessed by other people with sugar and candy. So I'm just sitting back and supplying the fun stuff that they can play with while other people are supplying the sugar. So we're kind of balancing everybody out. Um, obviously you can customize these baskets, but I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can make a 
practical Easter basket and things that your kids may use and maybe gives you some ideas of things that maybe brought to your mind of, oh, well, we could use this. We, we have paint supplies, but we don't have a Play-Doh kit or we don't have a this or that. Um, we don't have a kinetic sand setup or whatever that is for you. You could totally customize it and just make it practical. It doesn't have to be a bunch of chintzy stuff that's just gonna go in the garbage or you're gonna step on it because that's just not fun. And then another thing I got for my girls was a pack each of these giant coloring sheets. They can color these, they can use their paint supplies and be able to have a ton of fun with these and they are huge. They are so big and they were $5 at Walmart so it's not, I didn't spend a fortune on it and it's something, we'll have these for a while, they can use these, I can pull out one each time we wanna do something and say, hey here, you can paint this princess or color this princess and it will give us an activity for a while and so I thought those were super cute. And then one last thing that I did purchase was this little kit here and this is for painting and I thought it was so interesting. So you actually take and you fill the bottle of water here with water and then you pop it on here and then put it on the top. You can press the button to fill the water into the tray. They can clean their paint brushes off and then press it again to empty the dirty water out of the tray and have clean water for the next time. So your kids paint brushes aren't ending up just absolutely black because they're mixing all the colors together until it's just one mud puddle of a color. So I thought this was pretty cool. I'm not going to go ahead and fill it with water just yet. We're not quite ready to use it, but I wanted to share that. thought it was super neat and a fun thing to be able to do with the kids. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the red subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button down below. And I will see you back here in the next one. Bye.